What is going on everybody? So last night was the Mutthead launch event and they had a bunch of different events but one of them was a type of show match between Bugs and Stiffmeister and yeah it was it was a very friendly match you know neither player was really trying very hard but from watching their gameplay I think you could actually extrapolate kind of where the meta is heading uh, based on what they were actually doing uh, specifically Bugs on offense and Stiffmeister on defense that's just kind of what I want to get into and obviously like I said I know it was a friendly I know they weren't trying I know this game literally meant nothing uh, but they were actually running stuff that I think you will be seeing online if not already definitely in the weeks to come so just wanted to kind of go over that so Boogs on offense uh, with the Detroit Lions in this trips tight end offset look which I'm sure you guys have probably seen online if you've been playing and then you got Stiffmeister on defense in a 3-4 look now Basically, uh, this year, uh, so far, uh, over probably like the past week or so, uh, the meta, I think, has shifted drastically uh, from 4-6. Now, 4-6 is still somewhat relevant, but uh, you don't see it as often, in my opinion, anymore. But what you do see uh, much more often now are these looping blitzes, almost like Madden 16 throwback. If you guys remember whenever, you know, Crossfire and Double Loop were super popular, that's basically kind of the meta direction that we're heading in on defense as of right now so uh, what you'll see a lot of times uh, out of something like this 3-4 formation from Stiffmeister is maybe uh, some type of crossfire setup where you know you try and you crash in right here and then maybe this guy comes looping through the a gap or something like that or you can even run it from you know the other side if you shift if you were to shift this linebacker in you could try and loop him through the b gap stuff like that is kind of what you're seeing it seems to be what the offensive line has the most trouble picking up now there's also three four schemes where basically you just kind of overload and hope your opponent uh, has to guess which side you're overloading from and hope he guesses wrong so you'll see this a lot with uh, Will Bucks three slant I believe the play is called Will Bucks slant three something like that uh, but basically what you'll see is you know a three or a four man overload on one side and try and get either this linebacker to loop in free or this outside linebacker to come in off the edge free and then you, you can drop this backside guy back and you're rushing four dropping seven trying to get good pressure they roll out you can send if you spied somebody you could send a spy or you could just send your closest zone at them it doesn't really matter but that's kind of the direction of the meta is heading in not only in 3-4 but you see this a lot out of uh, stuff like 335 normal um 335 odd a 335 sam stuff like that uh, those formations do have those crossfire looping type blitzes now on the offensive side of the ball uh, you see bugs in this trips tight end offset and basically uh, the first thing you should be thinking whenever you see a trips formation at this point in the year is pa crossers and that's exactly what you're going to see from bugs uh, in particular this golden tate route just super tough to defend basically just like the shotgun tight flex route uh, from PA post shot last year uh, that you guys saw catch traction as the year went on and was a force to be reckoned with in kind of the final tournament so uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll the footage here and you're gonna see snap of the ball you see a Donta Hightower come looping in that's exactly what you want now Boogs actually went with a seven man protection at the beginning goes play fake so you got your running back in for protection and then also uh, this tight end right here was in a block and release so his first priority was protect now he's releasing out and you see the route combo already developing for books you're gonna get the deep cross the post behind it and then a in route underneath so kind of a three level route here and like I said uh, you see the guy looping in uh, for Stiffmeister on the right side not the high tower this is exactly what you want you know right tackle engaged right guard engaged center engaged looping in through that B gap and that's what you're gonna see a lot of the time now in this case Boogs went with a six pseudo seven man protection with the tight end on the block and release and so this running backs actually gonna do a good job of uh, you know looking searching running back blocking AI much improved this year so he's looking searching and he's gonna end up picking up Dante Hightower but you still get the passive pressure it's gonna force Boogs to roll out which is kinda of what you want you wanna get the quarterback off his mark out the pocket get him uncomfortable but you're going to see a uh, Bugs is going to end up delivering a nice pass here. Stiffmeister usering over the middle. And it's just so tough uh, to user that X route right there. And you saw Stiffmeister was on it and then kind of peeled off because uh, I think he saw this underneath B route and said, maybe I should clamp down on that. And then he kind of got caught in no man's land at this point. You're really guarding neither of them. Uh, Bugs could have his pick. He could either throw it to B uh, right now or he could be patient and throw it to X on the sideline. 
And now, uh, remember, Stiffmeister is in a cover three shell, and this is kind of what is somewhat wrong with the zones right now, and why they're they're going to end up patching these deep zones. Just play uh, way too passively. So this deep zone dropping back super far, like. I don't know why he's dropping back that deeply whenever he's not being threatened. The only other threat is this backside receiver running this post route, but you have a defender right there who's already guarding him, so his priority should be this deep crossing route, but as you can see, uh, the deep zone just does not guard this route. Super tough to use her, as I said, because uh, you have to fully commit to it in order to take it away, and Boog's going to end up threading the needle right there on the sideline. Picking up the first down on the third and two situation. So, like I said, I know this game was a huge friendly, and you know neither player was really trying. Nothing was on the line, uh, but it is two pro players who they they know what's effective in the game. So even though they're just messing around, you can kind of see and extrapolate uh, kind of what they think is good and and kind of what you're going to be seeing online based off of what they're doing. So that's definitely I think the direction of the meta right now, shifting into those. A looping blitzes over the past week or so uh, like I said 3-4 three, 3-3-5 three, three, the different 3-3-5 three, three, variations is what you're gonna see offensively uh, that PA crossers play basically gonna be seen in almost every single playbook it might be literally every playbook so everybody's gonna have access to it and you can believe everybody's gonna pick up on the fact that it's super super effective I'm already starting to see it more and more online so uh, that's going to be something you're going to have to be prepared uh, to deal with if you want to play online or even if you want to try and qualify, say, in salary cap or something uh, for one of the first tournaments. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what I can do better for future videos. And until next time, guys, take it easy.